The Chinese coronavirus, a new strain of disease that just popped up in China a couple of weeks ago and is re really rapidly scaling all around the world. It's just spreading through many different countries. There's a lot of cases in the US, Canada, Australia, all over Asia. So a lot of people are concerned and I'm concerned as well because one, customers are going to be a little bit fearful about ordering packages from China and just completely buying products online. They think they're gonna come from China. Maybe this virus can come in these packages and it's gonna be super scary that they might open a package and the virus attacks them. There's also a Simpsons episode that talks about this, like Homer receives a package from China and it has the virus inside of it. So people are just in general scared. This is a massive virus that is spreading really fast when 2,000 people already have this and over 56 people have died. So here you can see coronavirus life updates, death toll reaches 56 as US finds third case. There's already cases in more, more than 10 countries already have cases. And this is where the main city of the actual outbreak is. So this virus is mainly concentrated in Wuhan, which is a city here in Eastern China. And then it's about two hours away with flight or with plane to Shenzhen, which is one of the biggest ports for dropshipping, importing from China to the United States and really all over the world. And it is where our suppliers in AliExpress and Alibaba are, are based and they source their products from. Therefore, there's a lot of concerns, especially from people that are selling products, dropshippers, e-commerce entrepreneurs, people selling on Amazon, for example, that their products come from China. Are customers going to be super scared? Are those sellers or us dropshippers going to be liable if someone gets the virus from a package? Are there gonna be any legal implications or are people just going to stop buying products from China? All of these questions and everything has popped up a lot online. For example, on this one, you can see verify, can you get coronavirus from packages shipped from China? So there are people asking, can I get this virus from China? Or here in the Chinese coronavirus, can the coronavirus be transferred through items bought from Wuhan and posted to UK. Wuhan is the main city of the outbreak. And obviously this is a big, big concern. Also in my private program, students were asking, hey, I have these customers that they're buying products from me. I'm shipping from China. Or am I going to be liable for these products going to these customers and them then having the virus or they're scared that they're not going to buy anything from my shop just because it's coming from China. All these concerns, all these questions, I'm going to answer them right now. So first of all, what is it and why and where is it spreading? As you can see here in this little map, although it is a little bit outdated, a couple of days outdated, every single day there's more cases, more people dying and so on. It is spreading really all over the world. It's a respiratory virus. So if you get it, you'll have a lot of symptoms. Like if you have pneumonia or you're gonna be very sick in the throat and start coughing a lot and it's very easy to pass it from person to person so that's why it also causes a lot of anxiety from people that are in china importing from china and thinking oh somebody might cough on one of my products send that virus over to the us or all over the world and then i'm liable for that or i cause this contagion all over the world so there's definitely a concern there the second is shipping from china if potentially let's say one of the workers at the factory where you're sourcing your products from has this virus or has acquired this virus and then they cough or they sneeze onto your product and then they package it, is that product going to have the virus? Yes, the virus is going to live on that package. But as you can see here, according to the Minnesota Department of Health, this is the best research that I can find. The answer is no as to can that package be sent to the US or the UK, Canada and so on and have the virus still alive. This particular coronavirus can only survive on a object or a package, not a real person, for only a few hours, maybe a day or two maximum. Most packages that come from China, they're gonna take seven, 10 days, probably two to three weeks. So no, the virus is not going to spread. You do not need to worry about this. And you need to educate your customers as well that they might be a little bit scared about buying products from your store thinking, oh, is this virus going to come to me if I order a package from this store? So I get that you're scared that customers might think that, but you need to educate them and tell them, no, it is impossible for this virus to actually transport. What I would also recommend is do not use random suppliers without quality checks, without quality control. What I would suggest is either go with shipping services like CJ Dropshipping, Udroppy, Hyperskew, and so on that have quality checks. They make sure that their employees are healthy. They make sure that the operations are very smooth and not just some random AliExpress supplier that just ships products randomly as much as they like. So make sure to use services that you trust that have quality checks. Maybe you have to pay a little more for the product. Maybe you have to pay a little more for shipping. 
but it is worth it if it makes your business a lot more legitimate and your customers a little bit safer and happier. The next question, is it going to affect selling from China? Yes, some people are a little bit scared of this, but don't explicitly tell people that the products are coming from China and also tell them that it's not possible for this virus. If you are importing from China, it's not possible for the virus to actually live on these packages and then come to the customer. So either way, if they're scared that the virus is gonna come on your package, tell them that it's not possible. Here's the research and also try to not tell them that the product is coming from China and not explicitly tell them that the product is coming from anywhere near that city of Wuhan where the virus is spreading from or where it originated. Also, one student in my private program, we have two calls per week every single week. And on yesterday's call, the student asked, if somebody gets the virus from my packages, am I liable for this? Can they sue me? Can they do something to my company, to my store and so on? The answer is, well, I don't know. The problem is that I don't, I can't really give you legal advice when it comes to this question. And also I can't give you any type of advice when it comes to getting sued or anything from that customer. But the reality is based on the research, this virus cannot live for more than two to three days. So it's likely not going to happen. It's very unlikely for somebody to get something from a package. And if you're liable for it, probably not. That would be the liable of the supplier. But again, I can't give you legal advice. So unfortunately, I can't really answer that question 100% sure. Also, in terms of travel restrictions from China, there are a lot of flights that have been banned, a lot of cities that are banned from flying. Cargo planes and cargo shipments are not banned. So is this going to hold off shipping? Just right now, we're in the middle of Chinese New Year. So it's kind of the worst time ever for an outbreak like this to happen. But no, there's not going to be any delays apart from the ones that are already happening from Chinese New Year, there's not gonna be any extra time added just because there's health checks or so on. We don't know anything about that. We're researching every single day. If you want to stay updated, make sure to comment down below, update or update me. So I keep making videos like this. I don't know if this is gonna interest so many people, but it is a massive concern. And also a lot of people are just scared of selling products from China because they think of this virus problem. All in all, the reality is yes, this virus is spreading very, very quickly. I myself, I'm very scared. We were going to Thailand and in the next couple of months and we're actually canceling our plans to go to Thailand, not even thinking about it because it's in such close proximity to China. And also there's a lot of cases in Thailand. So be careful with traveling, be careful with anything you're doing around the Asian continent. But in terms of business, it shouldn't affect us in the flow of sales that much unless you're explicitly telling customers, hey, this product is in China, be careful with China and so on. So as long as you don't scare your customers in any way and you educate them properly, you tell them, hey, this virus cannot live in the package for more than two days and so on. Show the research, make sure that everything is quality checked. You use quality suppliers, you use people that are actually care about the customer, actually care about their package, then you should be in the clear. Stay updated, watch the news, and learn more about the virus because this is very important. Since it's coming from China, our main hub to ship is from China. This does affect us as dropshippers, but don't be scared, don't go crazy. Just be very careful with anything that you see out there. Just watch the news, learn about it. And if you want an updated version of this video in a couple of days, this virus is spreading a lot every single day. Just comment update down below. And if you want to join the conversation over in my private program, we'll be talking about this in detail and how to really stay safe from anything that happens with your business, how to scale your business, automate your Shopify business, and just build a proper high quality branded Shopify store. Make sure to click that second link in the description for a free strategy call with me or somebody in my team to see if you're the right fit to work with us. That's it for this video. Stay safe and watch this video right here. That's going to pop here. If you want to learn more about Shopify, about what it is, how to actually drop ship from China and how to build a business importing from China to the world. Click it there, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you on the next one.